So, Sister, one of the things that we wanted to do with this opportunity for conversations was to give the sisters a chance to have a voice in terms of, to have a voice that's very visible in the community in terms of the, the intimate relationship between the University of Mary and our founding and sponsoring community. And so we thought that conversations with you and with Sister Thomas could be something that would be very helpful for us. And so could we begin just beginning with, with the telling of the story? How was it that, that Mary College and the university was founded by the sisters? What were the perceived needs and, and how did that all unfold? Well, Benedict and sisters have been in North Dakota, in Dakota Territory, for a very long time. We came in 1878, first at the invitation to open a grade school to um, teach German immigrant children. There was a great need for education. And shortly after that, there was also a great need for, for health care. And so that's how we were involved in, in, in health care uh, and developing St. Alexis Medical Center. And that was in the very early days. Mm -hmm. And as we continued our work in education, uh, the needs became more uh, needs as far as higher education. And so we established a college in 1959 to serve uh, the needs of our sisters to begin with as far as creating an, uh, a school to educate our sisters so they could teach, to continue to teach uh, grade school and high school. Mm -hmm. And it evolved into the needs of the larger community also needing education. And from there, it, it started with primary education, uh, primarily education in education mm -hmm. and in healthcare. And so those were the two stepping stones or starting stones for us to create uh, the university that is today, which has several majors, uh, even has some doctoral degrees. And it has just expanded according to the needs of the people in the community. So Mary College, uh, when it was founded, was the first Catholic college or university in North Dakota. It still is the only one. And in addition to that, it was the first four-year institution or baccalaureate institution in this whole area. Yes. And so the sisters clearly were meeting a need. But there was something distinctive about the foundation of Mary College. When I think back to Mother Adane and Sister Ann Burns, can you capture for us something of that spirit um, what were the sisters thinking, what were they feeling, and what were they dreaming? Well, we, we were dreaming of providing a place of education where we could form leaders, um, and, and in the service of truth. Uh, servant leadership is something that I think we probably didn't talk about as intentionally at the beginning, um, but it, it is something that is of strong value for us. Mm -hmm. Because we don't educate ourselves just for ourselves, we educate ourselves and create service opportunities so we can be of service to the people in the area. So it's not just development within the profession, it's a development in a holistic approach to life, um, to, to be of service to those who are in need and to provide a, a, a faith-based approach in living a life that is imbued with values such as community, prayer, respect, mm -hmm. moderation. Uh, those are important aspects in everyone's lives. And so if we can be intentional about living those values in our students' lives, in our faculty and staff's lives, it, it, it overflows into everyday life, into the profession, and into the family living.